Refueling planes, combat aircraft, and cargo haulers are some of the largest planes in the world. They play a vital role in the military from a logistics and strategic perspective. So join me for today's video as we take a look through the 15 biggest military planes ever developed. Number 15. Tupolev Tu-160 First entering service in 1987, the Soviet-built Tupolev Tu-160 remains the largest and heaviest combat aircraft to ever be built. It's a supersonic strategic bomber with the ability to travel at speeds in excess of double the speed of sound, and while doing so, it's able to carry almost 100,000 pounds or 45,000 kilos of ordnance. It's operated by a four-person crew and it's 177 feet long. It's got a wingspan that measures 182 feet and it's powered by four Samara NK321 afterburning turbofan engines, which give it a maximum speed of about 1,380 miles an hour over a range of up to 7,600 miles without in-flight refueling. Since they first went into production, 36 Tu-160s have been built and they remain in service in the Russian Air Force. After undergoing significant upgrades in recent decades, the new program of construction began in 2022 that plans to build 50 modern versions the Tu-160M that will replace the older stock and provide Russia's heavy bomber capability at least until 2040. Other variants are also in the planning process, which shows how adaptable this design is, such as the Tu-160SK, which will be able to launch commercial satellites, and the Tu-160R, which will be a long-range reconnaissance craft. Number 14. Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules Designed by Lockheed Martin, the C-130J Super Hercules is the most recent iteration of the company's successful Hercules aircraft and first entered service in 1999. Since then, more than 500 of them have been built and they're used by the Air Forces of the United States, the United Kingdom, Italy, and 19 other countries. Measuring 97 feet long with a wingspan of about 132 feet, it's mainly used as a military transport aircraft that has space inside for either 92 passengers, 6 pallets, or 3 Humvees, even an M113 armored personnel carrier. With a three-person crew, the C-130J is powered by four Rolls-Royce turboprop engines that each drive a six-bladed reversible pitch propeller. This allows the craft to travel at a top speed of about 417 miles an hour, over a range of up to 2,100 miles with a cargo weight as much as 42,000 pounds. It is seen as a highly reliable aircraft. The C-130J has been used in virtually all military campaigns conducted by the U.S. over the past 20 years. And with them still being built and delivered to customers around the world, they'll continue to be in operation at least until the middle of this century. Number 13. Antonov AN-124 Designed and built by the Ukrainian Antonov Design Bureau in the mid-1980s and first entering official service in 1986, the Antonov AN-124 is the largest military transport aircraft that's currently in operation anywhere in the world. It requires a six-person crew, which include a pilot, co-pilot, navigator, two flight engineers, and a radio operator, as well as two load masters. It has a capacity of 88 passengers, as well as up to 170 tons of cargo. The giant aircraft is 226 feet long, and it's got a wingspan that measures 240 feet. It's powered by four Progress high-bypass turbofan engines. It's got a cruising speed of 537 miles an hour, over a range of 2,300 miles when it's holding its maximum payload. It's got a double fuselage, which allows for there to be a cargo door on the lower part that can open during flight without affecting structural integrity. And it's said to be surprisingly light on the controls considering its size. Of course, with the huge weight of a fully loaded AN-124, its landing gears were custom designed and feature 24 wheels, and each plane even has its own overhead crane to assist with loading. Number 12. McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender The main limiting factor to how long an aircraft can stay airborne is, of course, how much fuel it can hold. Rather than having to land at an airbase to refuel, there's another option. The McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender is a type of aerial refueling tanker that's used by the United States Air Force, and it's become a vital component of mobilization of military forces. It's a military version of the DC-10 airliner, measuring 181 feet long and with a wingspan of about 165 feet powered by three General Electric turbofan engines that give it a top speed of 538 miles an hour and a range of up to 4,400 miles. 
With added tanks that allow it to carry 356,000 pounds of fuel, it uses a centerline refueling boom, as well as a drogue and hose system that's installed on the starboard side towards the rear of the plane to connect with aircraft mid-air and perform the refueling. It's also able to carry 17 pallets and 75 passengers, which makes it an effective transport option too. So it's no wonder this has been an important support craft ever since it was first introduced in 1981. Number 11. The XC-99 was designed by Convair in the late 1940s and was first introduced in 1949 as a new heavy cargo aircraft for the United States Air Force. At 182 feet long and 230 feet across the wing, it was the largest piston engine transport aircraft to have ever been built. Its design was based upon the B-36 Peacemaker bomber, but with a vastly expanded internal capacity that allowed it to carry up to either 400 people or 100,000 pounds of cargo. Fitted with six Pratt & Whitney 28-cylinder radial piston engines with three-bladed pusher propellers, it's got a top speed of 307 miles an hour and a range of 8,100 miles. Despite grand hopes for the project and a potential civilian version as well, only one was ultimately constructed, and it remained in service for eight years and carry supplies around the world, and it was also guaranteed to turn heads wherever it went. The Air Force, however, soon decided that there was no longer a need for such a huge craft, so no others were ordered, and the civilian version was cancelled too, when potential customers realized how much fuel and oil was required to fly it, and then it had no chance of being economically viable. Number 10. Shaanxi Y9 Created by the Shaanxi Aircraft Company on behalf of the People's Liberation Army Air Force of China, the Y9 is a medium military transport aircraft that, since its introduction in 2012, has become an important part of the Chinese military transportation capability. Powered by four Wojiang turboprop engines that drive six-plated propellers, it's got a top speed of 410 miles an hour and a range of about 1,400 miles when it's carrying a maximum payload of 30 tons. The cargo bay is large enough to transport 106 passengers, 132 paratroopers, or two ZBD-03 combat vehicles, but it can be further adapted for larger loads if the mission requires. It's still relatively early on in the Y-9's lifespan, so only around 30 of the aircraft have been delivered. A design freeze to control costs was imposed, which means no further developments of this particular craft are planned, which means it's most likely being seen as a stepping stone toward a brand new concept that'll be introduced in the coming years. Number 9. Airbus A400M Developed as an adaptable aircraft that can be used for transport, aerial refueling, and as a tactical airlifter, the A400M Atlas was designed by Airbus and first entered service for the French Air Force in 2013. Now it's also used by the German, Spanish, and UK Air Forces primarily, and six other countries around the world as well. At 148 feet long and with a wingspan measuring 139 feet, it's powered by four Europrop turboprop engines that drive eight-bladed variable-pitch propellers to give it a cruising speed of 485 miles per hour over a range of up to 2,300 miles when carrying a full payload of 41 tons. Specifically designed to be able to use short, soft landing strips, it can carry, for example, two light armored vehicles or a Patriot missile system or 116 fully armed troops. It can be reconfigured to act as an airborne refueling or as an emergency medical evacuation craft when needed, and because it's so easy to alter to fit mission requirements, 111 of them have already been built and delivered to customers. Featuring a full glass cockpit and flight systems that have been adapted from the A380, it's made mainly from composite materials such as carbon fiber reinforced plastic and unusually has two propellers on each wing that rotate in the opposite direction to one another that allows it to generate more lift and therefore take off at a shorter distance. Number 8. B-52 Stratofortress in the late 1940s, the U.S. Air Force realized there was a need for a long-range jet-powered strategic bomber and turned to Boeing for a new design. The result of the ensuing project was the B-52 Stratofortress, and it would prove to be so successful that they're still in use today more than 65 years after being first introduced in 1955. Able to carry nuclear weapons as well as more traditional ordnance, the B-52 is 159 feet long and has a wingspan measuring 185 feet. It's an enormous aircraft that's powered by eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, and it's able to reach a top speed of 650 miles per hour over a combat range of 8,800 miles. 
Originally, they were armed with an M61 Vulcan cannon, although these were later removed, and in their bays, they're able to carry 70,000 pounds of bombs, missiles, and mines. They are the largest bomber aircraft that have ever been created by the U.S. Air Force and have been involved in every military operation conducted by the country since the 50s. 744 of them were built in total, and those that remain have recently undergone significant upgrades. They're gradually being replaced by newer aircraft, but it's expected that some B-52s will still be operating by the 2050s. Number 7. Kawasaki C-2 First officially entering service for the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force in 2016, the C-2 was created and manufactured by the Kawasaki Aerospace Company. It's a long-range, high-speed military transport aircraft that was designed to replace the aging C-1 model, and the plans are for 22 to be delivered for domestic use, with hopes that it will be sold abroad as well. It's operated by a three-person crew. It's 144 feet long. It's got a wingspan of 145 feet. It's also powered by two General Electric turbofan engines, and it's able to achieve a top speed of 570 miles per hour over a range of up to 4,700 miles. It's a substantial upgrade compared to the C-1, with the ability to carry more than four times the weight with a larger cargo hold, too. This means that the C-2 is able to transport up to 40 tons of weight or vehicles, such as a Mitsubishi H-60 helicopter, a type 16 maneuver combat vehicle, or a MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile battery. Further optimized with the ability to refuel in flight and with forward-looking infrared systems, it is one of the most advanced military transport aircraft currently in use. Number 6. A330 MRTT the A330 MRTT is a newly designed aerial refueling and military transport aircraft from Boeing that's already in use by air forces across Europe and allied countries. The original designs were created for a project with the U.S. Air Force, but after this was canceled, Airbus opened up orders to other customers. It's based on the A330 civilian craft, but it's got significant adaptations to make it suitable for military uses. It's 193 feet long and 198 feet across the wing, and it's powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent turbofans, or equivalents from other manufacturers, and it's able to travel at speeds of up to 547 miles an hour over a range of 9,200 miles. The MRTT can be customized depending on the specific mission requirements, but for refueling, it's fitted with an aerial refueling boom system, underwing refueling pods, and a fuselage refueling unit, which means it's compatible with most military aircraft. At the same time, while carrying 240,000 pounds of fuel, it's also able to transport a further 50 tons of cargo, or alternatively up to 380 passengers. As of the end of 2021, 51 of them have been delivered to militaries around the globe, and with plenty of orders still to fulfill, they'll likely remain in production for many years to come. Number 5. Ilyushin IL-76 Originally conceived as a commercial freight transporter in the late 1960s, but later adapted for military uses, the Aleutian IL-76 was developed by the Soviet Aleutian Design Bureau and completed its first flight in March of 1971. With more than 960 of them having been built, they're now used by air forces around the world and by civilian organizations too, and are used for a range of purposes. From troop and military hardware transport to the delivery of heavy mining machinery to remote areas and disaster relief. Requiring a five-person crew to operate, the IL-76 is 152 feet long and it's got a wingspan of 165 feet. It's also powered by four Soloviev turbofans, which give it a top speed of 560 miles an hour, and it's able to travel up to 5,800 miles without a payload. Unusually for an aircraft that's designed as a transport, the military version is equipped with two 23mm cannons in a turret at the base of the tail, and some have two hard points on the exterior that can carry various bombs, but even with these additions, it's able to carry a huge amount of cargo. With its ability to take off from short and uneven runways, it's proven to be a reliable aircraft, even in the most tricky of situations, and recently variants have also been produced for firefighting and even zero-g training exercises. Number 4. Xi'an Y-20 Developed by the Xi'an Aircraft Industrial Corporation and nicknamed the Chubby Girl because it has the widest fuselage of any aircraft to have been built in China, the Y-20 is a strategic airlifter that's planned to become the backbone of the People's Liberation Army for decades to come. 
For a long time, China had relied on imported designs and materials from elsewhere, but this aircraft was the result of a recent drive to produce all military hardware domestically. It's built from composite materials that are all produced in China and takes a completely different design approach to all previous Chinese aircraft, with the plan being eventually to build as many as a thousand of them. Operated by a three-person crew, the Y-20 is 154 feet long and has a wingspan that measures 164 feet. It's powered by four Shenyang WS-20 turbofan engines to give it a cruising speed of 390 miles an hour at a range of up to 6,200 miles. It's comparable in capability to the largest military transports used by any other country, and with a large 13-foot tall hold, it's able to carry, for example, two Type 15 tanks, a single Type 99A main battle tank, or cargo weighing up to 70 tons. Number three, Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. McDonnell Douglas, which merged with Boeing in 1997, designed the C-17 Globemaster III in the 1980s to provide the U.S. military with a newly designed heavy transport aircraft. The model first entered service in 1995, and in total, 279 of them were built before production ended in 2015. They're now used by a number of different militaries around the world and have been found to be particularly reliable without needing anywhere near as much maintenance as other aircraft designed for a similar role. The C-17 is 174 feet long, has a wingspan of just under 170 feet, and it's powered by four Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, which each produce 40,000 pounds of thrust. With two pilots and a loadmaster, the planes can fly at a cruising speed of 520 miles an hour over a range of up to 2,700 miles, all while carrying a full payload, and that weighs up to 85 tons. Depending on the configuration, it can also be used to transport 102 paratroopers, 54 injured patients along with a medical staff, or large vehicles like an M1 Abrams tank or three ICV strikers. The adaptability of the Globemaster III has led to it becoming an important workhorse for all branches of the military. And while the process is underway to ultimately decide upon a successor to the design, the current fleet is expected to remain in operation for at least 20 or 30 years. Number two. Antonov AN-22 The Antonov AN-22, which first entered service in the late 1960s, was developed as a heavy military transport aircraft for the Soviet Union by the Ukraine-based Antonov Design Bureau. It was designed to significantly improve the military's transport capability, but also to show the rest of the world how far Soviet technology had progressed at a time when international tensions were heightened. Not only was it the first ever wide-body transport aircraft, but it remains to this day the largest turboprop aircraft to have ever been built. With a crew of either five or six members, the AN-22 is 190 feet long, but has an even greater wingspan that measures 211 feet across. It's powered by four Kunetsov turboprop engines that drive the eight-bladed contra-rotating reversible pitch propellers, and it gives the aircraft a top speed of 460 miles an hour. Amazingly, it's able to keep this speed even when it's carrying its full load of around 86 tons of cargo over a range of up to 6,800 miles. The AN-22 proved to be so successful that between 1963 and 1975, 68 of these giants were built, 59 of which are still in service. Number 1. Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy Following the Second World War and with the development of the Cold War, militaries around the world diverted huge resources into creating huge and powerful aircraft to take control of the skies. In collaboration with the U.S. Air Force, Lockheed began to work on a new generation military transport aircraft in the late 50s and early 60s and was able to reveal the C-5 Galaxy in 1968. Since then, this enormous jet has been an integral part of the Air Force's capabilities, where it offers strategic intercontinental airlift abilities and can transport oversized loads that simply can't fit on other transports. With a minimum four-person crew, the C-5 Galaxy is 247 feet long and has a wingspan of 222 feet. This width gives a wing area of 6,200 square feet and allows the Galaxy to generate enough lift to carry up to 140 tons of cargo. It's powered by four General Electric turbofan engines and it's able to reach a maximum speed of 532 miles an hour when fully laden, and it's got a range of up to 2,600 miles. In total, 131 of them were built between 1968 and 1989. Rather than designing a new craft, when the C-5 is more capable of what's needed, 
Investment has instead been put into upgrading the ones that are still in service so they can remain operational until the 2040s, with those that have undergone these upgrades now being called the C5M Super Galaxy. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.